Innovation. It's the essence of progress and transformation for MINDEF and the SAF. In today's rapidly evolving world, this culture of innovation is essential to improve work processes, enhance safety and increase productivity. This year, we turn the spotlight to ground innovators. Every serviceman and woman, regardless of rank, is empowered to think creatively, to challenge the status quo and to design our future. For ops and training, most of the time we will be fighting in dark rooms. Torchlight will enable the troops on the ground to illumine the area so that we can able to see and fight accordingly. The South 21 doesn't come with a P-rail for the mount. That created a little bit of challenge. So I came up with this idea with my CSM, Dinesh. So we mentioned, hey, how nice if the South 21 with a P-rail that we can attach. There was a few aspects that we had to look into like safety, sharp edges. After a, a few drawings, we finalised the last product of the torchlight mount. Three battalions had actually used the torchlight mount. They were able to give constructive feedbacks that allowed us to better the process of this innovation. The cooling part is for medic to use for any heat related uh, injury. When the troops are out in the field for training, the medic will bring along. Without this whole chain solution, actually every 12 hour we will need to go back and do a replenishment. So with this cold chain solution, it did help to minimize the traveling and able to keep the cooling pad required freezing point. At the same time, this will help to optimize the training. The Swift Eye is an inspection tool which is used to inspect the interior of the fuel cell of the Chinook helicopter. In the past, uh, it is quite labour intensive as it requires uh, three personnel to enter from a small opening and to work in a confined space area for up to eight hours. But I've done it myself uh, and it's quite strong. We are required to don our safety equipment. So with Suify, it does not require the AFE to enter the 647 fuel tank to perform the inspection. One of the biggest challenges we face for this project is the technical complexity. This project involves the integration of software and hardware, so it is difficult to make it right the first time. So we have to refine the program, the hardware, to meet our needs. So our 6ARE leadership has been very supportive of uh, ground innovation and encourages us to ideate without the fear of failing. So I really feel empowered to have full control of developing this project, as well as the ability to make critical decisions. In the past, our trainers have to manually mark the open-ended questions in our assessment. My CEO actually uh, thought that uh, we could use some AI technology to cut down manpower and uh, time needed for some of the marking. Now I will show you how uh, we do the marking. So uh, as you can see, there are the sample data consists of the questions, the learner's answer and the right answer. So now I will upload all this data into our uh, EMS and we click initiate marking and press yes. We have been uh, comparing the result from the automated marking software with manual markers. We actually find that the accuracy of the software is highly accurate and the software has actually been deployed for some of our assessments. When I first joined my team, I realised that we need to collate a large amount of findings. The process was extremely laborious and time-consuming. We used to do it by hand, copy and paste, and then maybe human error. With the introduction of the data analytics dashboard, we reduced 67% of the time spent collating findings through the deployment of data science techniques. With the time free up, we are now able to focus on quality analysis and evaluation, which has helped to guide our policy decision and engagement design. Reducing attrition could help our organisation to have more capable soldiers. We leverage on creative analytics tools to help us to actually identify uh, new trends to actually better predict and gather useful insights to reduce attrition uh, for the organisation. With this early identification and with the prescribed rehab exercises, it actually helps our trainees uh, to be further conditioned so that uh, they will not incur any serious injuries throughout the 
training in DMTC. Traditionally, navies around the world has been using the uh, what we know as the killer tomato for live firing. So the thing is that for killer tomato, they are actually traditionally made of PVC materials and when such materials are left in the ocean, they don't degrade. The biodegradable targets actually decompose or degrade uh, between 8 to 10 weeks, which makes it less harmful for the environment itself. Because it's smaller in size and the shape of the pyramid, the B set, is that it's easily assembled and deployable. It is actually safer because now we can actually deploy it with a lesser crew size and compared to the KT, this B set is significantly cheaper. Innovation goes beyond flashy gadgets and high-tech solutions. It's about the individuals who empower forward, question the status quo, and embrace new approaches to solve complex problems. Design our future together.